Hey guys, it's Sisney from On Air with Ryan Seacrest, and I am here with the Nia Franklin. Hi. Miss Hello. America, people. Oh my gosh, where's your crown? Oh, I have it with me. Would you like Wait, to see it? Wait, can you? Can yeah. someone bring the crown over here? I would love to see it. Are you kidding me? I know that it's not, not, I know that that's not what it's all about, but I mean, let's okay. be honest. Um, what's the look at, though? Oh, it's in the box. Is it locked? It out? Yeah. It's yes. in a box. Get ready right. for the big reveal. Well, I've already seen it on TV already, but yeah. This is the box. Pretty. <laughs> but yeah, it goes everywhere with me in my carry-on bag on the on the plane. I like in the little case of bobby pins. I like yeah. that. So That's... these are the bobby pins. <laughs> yeah, 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 the crown. <gasps> oh my I goodness. Use to hold it in place. This is actually the replacement crown. This is not the one I was crowned with. Right now, my crown is getting some. Maintenance oh, done it's in to the shop. It. <laughs> so wow! The crown They're shop. polishing the jewels. <laughs> so this is my um, backup crown that it's beautiful I'm using for the time being. I love Usually it. it's black in here, so it matches my hair. Uh huh. But this is just the backup one, so you know. I love it. Yeah. So what was that? I know it was a while ago, but what was that moment of just front, of being crowned after the whole thing goes by? It what was, goes through your mind at that I moment? Mean, I mean, in the moment, I'm just in shock. I mean, I didn't know that it was going to be me. I mean, obviously, everyone hopes it will be them. Yes. But you never know. I mean... But as you're getting closer and closer to the end. To that moment? Yeah, to that moment. In that moment, I just couldn't believe I made it that far because I was shocked that I even made the top 15 because I was caught 12th. And, I mean, that was a very, like, jittery time. So mm -hmm. when I was standing there in the top two, it was just like, wow, like, either it's me or it's not. So, I mean, I hope it's me, but it's just such a, a high, you know, it's very, something that very highly anticipated mm -hmm. that you just don't really, you never know how you're going to feel in that situation. Even doing, like, Miss New York and the local that I did, yeah. it's not the same feeling at all. It's it's crazy. It's, it's Would you so say surreal. why? Because local is just like you got like the support of like your state there, like your more well, friends and family. So, so at Miss New York, for example, mm -hmm. I was standing in the top two. I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, like I made it to Miss New York. If this yeah. happens, and I get to go to Miss America, yeah. So it's almost more intense at the state level. And this is something you can talk to other state girls about. It's so intense because you know if your name is called, then you just get the chance to go to Miss America. And that yeah. in and of itself is huge. Mm -hmm. So standing there, and I mean, I already feel so, in that moment, I already felt so humbled and blessed to just be standing there in the top two at Miss America as Miss New York. So to actually walk away with it was just like the icing on the cake for me. For sure. Well, congratulations on Thank everything. Um, <laughs> music is your passion. Yes. Where would you say that came from? Like, as a kid, you loved music? or As a kid, I totally loved music. I just have vivid memories of my parents playing Stevie Wonder all throughout the house nice. when I was growing up. And actually, one of the first little talent shows that I did, my mom got me to sing Love's in Need of a Love Today by Stevie Wonder. Aww. And I remember being so, um, a little bit feeling out of place because, mm -hmm. I mean, at the time I was probably five or six years old, and mm -hmm. no one that's five or six is singing Stevie Wonder right. <laughs> at a talent show. And I got made fun of a little bit. Whatever, like, you got a cool I, mom. I remember this girl coming <laughs> up like to me and saying, you. this girl came up to me and she's like, what is that? What are you singing? And I'm like, um, it's Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Educate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was like, I have, I have very vivid mem memories of my parents just kind of, um, pouring all of this great music into me. And then, of course, church was where I really got my foundation, I think, knowing how to be confident and singing in front of um, large audiences because I went to a pretty uh, fairly sized, a good-sized uh, congregation. We had a good congregation. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of where I got my start and where, that's where a lot of my passion comes from for music. So you got a master's in music composition. Correct. So um, wh how does the opera, when, when did the passion for opera come in then? Oh, the passion for opera came about while I was going to study uh, music composition the first time. So not okay. master's, but undergrad. I decided that I wanted to study music composition and that most of the schools I was auditioning for, you actually had to have an instrument as well. And I did not want to play piano. I already knew I'd like to but play. But you can play piano, right? I can, okay. I can. But I mean, just <laughs> add it to the list. <laughs> but I decided I wanted to study. I didn't want to study piano on a serious level. I mean, okay. I, I like playing it for my songs and, you know, playing it by ear. But mm -hmm. I didn't want to play, like, Mozart pieces or anything like that, even though I love them. They, they sound amazing. Right. But I just wanted to do something that I could grow um, in a way that I could grow my voice and I knew that studying classical voice would be fun because opera is really cool. It's, I mean, it's so something, cool. It's something that I didn't and really unique. grow up listening to mm -hmm. but I knew that if I studied classical voice then it would help me with just voice in general 
because it teaches you a really healthy way to sing so you don't have to worry about if I wake up today and my voice isn't working the way I want it to you kind of have a technique with breath exercises and posture so it it was really helpful to even help me with the R&B and soulful singing that I do as well. So your music that you have you've written over like a hundred songs right so um, (laughs) what will you be releasing next month? So next month, um, I'm having a song come out called Earth Sun. Okay. And it's basically a love song. I mean, it's very simple as far as it just has a simplicity about it, I would mm-hmm. say. And um, it's actually going to be an acoustic version of the song. Oh, really? Yeah, so. Well, I guess with opera, that's like, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I want, so uh, it'll be my voice and piano, so not okay. just voice. Okay, but, but still. Um, yeah, but still, it's not heavily um, pr- like produced with mm-hmm. all the different instrumentation. I like that rawness though. That's yeah. going to give and everybody like a good glimpse of like your talent. Well, that's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> so, this is kind of my introduction, I guess, to the world. I mean, I've released stuff on SoundCloud before, but this mm-hmm. is something that will be on all um, music, you know, streaming services. And so, I wanted to I wanted people to see me in that light of a songwriter because at the core that's who I am as a musician. That's mm-hmm. I mean, I've been writing songs since I was 5. So I want people to see me as a songwriter. And so I will have more songs and hopefully an EP coming out later on this year. But for this first one, I really wanted it to just be raw. So it's a ballad, I'm assuming. It is a ballad. Okay. Yes. And then what uh, if you like to were to put out more songs on your EP later this year, what's, what's the vibe of that music? Um, so I have some like very like R&B sounding stuff. So this is okay. a ballad and it's R&B, but... Um, it, this is the things that will be on this next one are going to be a little bit more produced with like bass and cymbals and kind of slow R and B soulful neo soul type of music, and then also um, some more heavily, um, some more pieces that have more instrumentation on them, so mm-hmm. drums, guitar, bass guitar. Do you bring in a little bit of the opera sound into these tracks? A little bit. I mean, I have my high notes. On Earth yeah. Sun, there's a high note. Have Somewhere you seen Bohemian Rhapsody? I haven't had the chance to see it. Okay, so in the, in the movie, they, they reference how Bohemian Rhapsody was basically, he was just like, he was pr- trying to tr- tie in opera. Oh, and at the time, I mean, and at the music. time, everybody was like, no, this is crazy. <laughs> like, you know, the, his manager ended up dropping him, and he was mm-hmm. like, you're always going to be known as the guy who dropped Queen, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it's just really interesting that, like, I, I, I love that about you, and I really think you should consider incorporating it more if you can you know yeah. why not um so what's next for the rest of this year i mean obviously it's january so i can like, what do you got planned for the whole year but um yeah. are you touring like what is it uh, give me a glimpse of a life of miss america oh yeah i'm continuing to tour heading uh, back to new york after this for like two days mm-hmm. and then after that i'll be headed back to um, I'm not even sure I'm going next, to be honest. It's hard to keep up with my schedule. You're like, I don't know. Um, Somebody just tells me where to show up every day. <laughs> basically. You do a lot of stuff for Children's Miracle Network mm-hmm. hospitals. Yes. I'll be um, visiting with them tomorrow. Oh, you are? Okay. Yes. Yeah, and you know, Ryan has uh, a bunch, he has all the Secret Studios yes. at Children's so Hospitals nice. throughout the country, too. And so it's it's nice to be able to give back in that way, right? Absolutely. And it's, it's one of those things where I feel like even though I wasn't necessarily, um, I never had any major illnesses as a child, um, my dad was a a victim of cancer, Mm -hmm. and now he's a survivor of cancer. You were able to help him out, right? Yes, and in a lot of ways, I feel that I can be empathetic to what the the children and also their family, what they're going through. It's amazing. It's awesome to go in there and just talk to them and... Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. I just had twins eight months ago, and Congratulations. thank you. We decided to to bank their cord blood, oh. um, just for I don't know. You never Smart. know, and it could help with like illnesses in the future and things mm-hmm. like that. And so it's just like I see the world in a different way now that I've had kids, yeah. and I'm sure it's the same oh, way with you. My first, oh, first my and second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wow. I'm sure you see the same way by helping out your dad and like what you were able to do for him. Yes. That probably completely changed your your path in the way. Well, you yeah, it's all things. about being informed. Mm-hmm. I think with with modern medicine, being informed on your options and. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that may not even know that you can do something like a stem cell transplant. So yeah. I like to I like to talk about that whenever I can so people can hear that. It you're really so mature for your age. You're oh, so <laughs> I'm proud of you. You're really you're really, really mature for your age and I'm I, I can see that this is only the beginning for you. Thank you. Um so where can everybody find your single next month? You can kinda like tease that. Yeah, so follow definitely follow um at Miss America mm-hmm. on Instagram, Twitter, and also follow me. I have a personal account as well. It's Nia Imani Franklin. Okay. Where I will be posting the single there and it'll be on iTunes, okay. Apple Music, Spotify, Title, 
all of your streaming You'll platforms. be able to find it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, guys. Nia Franklin, thank you so much. Thank Miss you. America, everybody. <laughs>